Welcome back to the Aldo Sweet Road of the Show here on MLB The Show 16. This is episode 8 of the series, and we are hopping straight into a game. As you can see, Aldo in his last four games is hitting 438, 7 for 16 at the plate. So we're hopping in here against the Rochester Red Wings, I believe is what their nickname is. 2-0 count as Aldo takes that one down the right field line. That's going to roll up against the wall. The runner from first was taken off on a steal, so he's going to be able to go first to home on the RBI double from Aldo there. So starting off the episode with a bang. And then we come up later on in the game. One for two on the day with a double and an RBI. Runner on first here in the top half of the fifth. Runner on first was thrown at, so now it's 3-1 count, two outs. And Aldo is learning to walk again. As he takes his base. And now comes up later on in the game. Top half of the eighth. Columbus up over Rochester 4-2. Nobody on, nobody out. Full count to Aldo. Here comes the pitch from the stirrup-wearing pitcher, and that's going to be ball four. Learning to walk again, yet again. So two walks in that game. He goes one for two with a double and an RBI as well. So the Clippers beat the Red Wings by a score of four to two. And another game against the Red Wings here, bottom half of the fifth. Aldo in the field, ranges to his left, sets his feet, fires across, throws a strike right to the first baseman, retires the runner, great reaction, good throw decision, all around good play. So it comes up later on that game, top half of the eighth. One on, two outs, 1-1 one, one count. Tied up at one here. Still looking for his first hit of the game. Here comes the pitch. Some showtime hitting. And Aldo is going to take this one to deep center field. It's back. The center field is ranging back to the track. And he's at the wall as he catches that one. Into the glove of the center fielder, but a deep hit ball. So Aldo goes over four on the day. But the Columbus Clippers beat the Rochester Red Wings by a score of 3-1. to one. Putting some attributes on here in fielding. And then we move on to another game against the Rochester Red Wings. Top half of the third here, Aldo the plate. Runners on second and third. One out, two, one count. Here comes the pitch. Aldo hitting from the left-handed side of the plate is going to range this one out to let right field, but it's going to be a decently deep pop fly. One runner from third base is going to be able to come in, and the second base runner moves over to third. So Aldo does get a sack fly RBI on that at bat. And now we move things on later on in the game. Bottom half of the third, Aldo in the field. Ranges to his right a step, sets his feet, fires, scoop from the first baseman, and retires the runner just barely. So now later on in the game, it's top half of the fifth. Nobody on, nobody out. Aldo hitting from the left side of the plate. One, two, count. Up five, nothing. Here comes the pitch, and Aldo's taking this one, two, deep right field. That's going to be popped up. Into the glove of the right fielder as he's just a step in front of the warning track. There's This will be a common theme that this episode is just really deep fly balls that if I just had a little bit more power would have been gone. Or just just absolute line drives that just go right to people. But here we got a base, we got ourselves a base hit. Is that one going right up the gut past the second baseman? And that's going to be a single for Aldo Sweet on that nine pitch at bat. And that comes up later on, bottom half of the eighth, still up 5-1 here, as this is going to be a double play as the pitcher actually gets there in time, which is something that never happens in this game, or last year, or the year before that, or the year before that. We do go one for three on that day, putting some attributes into durability and stealing here. And as you can see here, the Tigers have traded Jose Victor Martinez to the Indians in, in exchange for Jose Ramirez. I thought at the time, I was like, sweet, they're going to call me up to replace, uh, maybe, uh, Maybe Kluber's off injury, so maybe they're going to call me up to replace Ramirez or something like that. And it's just like, no, nope. they're, uh, they're doing this trade Ramirez for whatever reason. So here we are in our next game, as that's going to be a pop-up, like I said, deep center to the center fielder. We're playing the Syracuse Chiefs here, who are the AAA affiliate to the Washington Nationals, as Aldo gets the runner just barely on that throw. Now we move on later in the game, bottom half of the eighth, one run on. One runner on, nobody out. A flip to me, four, six, three, double play as we retire both runners there. And then there's two outs in the inning. Move on to the top half of the ninth. Albo comes up 0 for 3 on the day. Strike in his last plate appearance. It's tied, it's tied at 1 here, top half of the ninth. 2-1 to count. Here it comes as some showtime hitting. As Sweet's going to take this one up the gut, but it ricochets off the leg of the pitcher. Bounces over to third baseman. Aldo's able to beat at the throat of first just barely. So he does get a base hit, but not many training points from it because it wasn't exactly a, uh, I don't know, a good hit, quality hit. But we do lose this game 3-1 to one of the Chiefs. And now we move into another game against Syracuse. Down 3-0 here, top half of the third. Nobody on, one out. 0-1 count on Aldo Sweet. 
Hitting from the right-handed side of the plate. Here comes the pitch, and that plunks him right on the arm. Aldo's going to take his base there as he's hit by a pitch. Comes up later on in the game, top half of the fourth. Two outs, runners on the corners here. 2-1 count to Aldo, hitting right-handed here against the left-handed pitcher. Here comes the pitch. Some showtime hitting as Aldo's taking that one right at the left fielder. Showtime hitting, solid contact, but it goes right at somebody. Common theme throughout this episode. So bottom half of the sixth now, down 7-3, to three, a 4-6-3 double play. When Aldo is struggling at the plate, whether that's being he's not making solid contact or just things are just going right at everybody, he, you can always count on his glove as you can turn it. He's, done, he's turning double plays. He's getting the balls ranging to his left and his right. He's getting uh, line drives right at him that he's snagging. And we end up losing this game 9-3 to and going 0-3 at the plate. So I decided I was getting tired of that Jed Jorko batting stance. We're moving to the John Ryan Murphy batting stance. As we move into another series here against the Rochester Red, Red Wings. Charge that ball from the run, throw over the first, and retire the runner. Come up later in the game, in the bottom half of the, I think this is the first, bottom half of the first. Still tied at nothing. 1-1 one, one count, one out, nobody on. Here comes the pitch, hitting right-handed, as Aldo's going to take this one to deep left field. It's back, and his first step bat with a giant Ryan Murphy batting stance is going to be a stand-up double for Aldo Sweet. Gets himself on second base with nobody on. Hopefully somebody can drive him in. And he's one for four now later on the game in the bottom half of the ninth, tied to two. One run on, one out, one oh count, hitting from the left-handed side this time. He takes this one to dead center field, but it's going to be at the track, and it's going to be tracked down by the center fielders. He somehow gets that one, Aldo with some bad Babic luck, Babic luck yet again. And now, extra innings, bottom half of the 11th, two outs, nobody on. Here comes the 1-1, one, one. still tied at two. Aldo's taking that one right into the gut, it looked like, as he'll take his base after being hit by a pitch. So now, bottom half of the 18th, his eighth at bat of the game, upcoming up. Upcoming, correction. Down 3-2 here is they need to score a run this inning. 2-0 count, and the 2-0 count, good pitch to swing at, is line drive right at the shortstop. Just some horrible luck. As Aldo goes 1 for 8 in that 18 inning marathon game, he does pick up a double. As they lose 3 to 2 to the Red Wings. And here we're putting some stuff into attributes into power versus right handed pitchers and left handed pitchers, as well as some bunting. And now we're in the field here against the Rochester Red Wings. A glove to glove flip for a 6 4 3 double play. The guy playing second base or whatever reason looks like he's like, I don't know, 6 foot 5. Just looks absolutely jacked. Here's another 6 4 3 double play. As like I said, when Aldo's struggling at the plate, whether that be he just can't make solid contact or he's just getting unlucky, you can always count on his glove in the field as he's turning double plays, making all kinds of plays. So down 2 1 here, runner on second. Aldo's going to take this one opposite way into left field. Left fielder goes back, and it's into his glove. More bad luck, just doesn't have enough power, hits it right at people. So he's 0 for 2 later on in the game. Bottom half of the fifth, down 2 to 1. Two outs. 0-0 count, hitting left-handed against the right-handed pitcher. Here comes the pitch, and Aldo's going to take this one opposite way yet again to left field, and this time it's getting over the glove of the left fielder. Aldo's going to head into second base, standing up. The runner from a first is going to score, as it's going to be an RBI double for Aldo Sweet right there. The score is the gigantic second baseman, and they're up 3-2 here. One run lead for the Clippers over the Red Wings. As it's the bottom half of the 7th, I think that is. 1-2 count, nobody on, 1 out. Some showtime hitting here from Aldo. Looks like it's right in the middle, and it is. And it's a line drive right at the first base. So makes the snag. I believe that was Kenny Vargas who made that uh, snag. And that's going to wrap things up here for this episode. As Aldo, sweet as you can see, has been moved to second in the lineup against right-handed pitching and left-handed pitching. So you can see that the uh, the managers are definitely uh, seeing that Aldo is not a just terrible offensive player anymore, despite being unlucky right now. He is hitting 266 with four home runs and 27 ribbies in 218 at bats here at AAA. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get called up sometimes. I'm actually kind of hoping we don't get called up. Uh, it's quite yet because I want to work on uh, some more attribute upgrades and I don't really want to get called up too early to the point where it's just like, whoa, I can't do anything here at the major league level because everyone's like twice as good as me. But we are 69 overall right now and that's going to wrap things up for this episode. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. Don't you let me know.
Everything's alright. I'm hooked on a feeling. 